Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I posted a video. We actually moved across the country, so we've been getting settled into our new home, and I finally have found time to create this video to compare the force of nature and Nitrochlor so that if you are looking to buy one of the devices that will make hypochlorous acid, this might help you make that decision. So we're gonna talk about price, size, um, how long it takes to run it, the warranty, just everything and break it down for you guys. And then also at the end, I'll let you know which one I've been using more for our family and hopefully you'll find this video helpful. Oh, and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you found it helpful. Thanks. For the force of nature, when you're buying this device, this is um, the main device that makes the hypochlorous acid. You also get the power cord and it also comes with a spray bottle and um, the spray bottles worked pretty good. I did have to replace the top because it broke, but other than that, it's been working really well for me. Um, it also comes with like the quick start guide and the manual, which I don't have handy right now because we moved and it's somewhere or maybe it may have gotten thrown out. And then you usually buy it in like a bundle and it comes with capsules. So you can buy like the five pack of capsules or more. So that's what comes with it. Now, keep in mind, if you are going to try to make the DIY um, capsule liquid, which is just the vinegar and salt, then you will need to buy some extra things. So I bought a little scale to measure the salt and vinegar. I also bought the um, chlorine strips and these are the Hydrion brand. I've talked about them in my other videos. They work so well at measuring um, the chlorine, well, the hypochlorous acid, like the free available chlorine content and it will tell you um, how strong your hypochlorous acid is. And so these ones go up to a thousand, which is actually kind of handy because with the capsules, I was getting 500 parts per million in this and it's supposed to be closer to 200, so I was diluting it. So it's kind of handy to have these anyways. So keep that in mind in cost that you may wanna, if you're planning on doing the DIY mixture, you may have some additional costs with these. And then also just like some cheap little pH strips. Um, which I actually think are pretty important so that you um, are aware of like what your pH is because if you're wanting to make the best, um, like the most pure, I guess you could say, hypochlorous acid, you're wanting your pH to be about 5.5 and um, so this will help you achieve that. So that's the um, force of nature. Let's quickly look at the nature core. Okay, really quickly for NatureClore, when you buy it, it comes with this um, device. So it comes in the three sizes, as I mentioned um, in my other video about NatureClore, and this is the smallest size, and this is the power cord, and it comes in two parts so that you can like separate it. Um, it makes it, I guess, a little bit easier like when you're dealing with liquids and stuff. So there's this. And then also, this is really cool that it comes with the chlorine strips already, because that's something that I would be buying um, if it didn't come with them. So that's really, really awesome. It comes with the chlorine strips. There's go up to 300 parts per million, which actually has been fine because I'm finding that um, the amount of salt I'm using is giving me um, between two and 300 ppm parts per million. So that's perfect. And then also they send you pH strips. So that's nice too, um, that you don't have to buy these separate. So these are the pH strips that they came with and I already showed you these. So um, that is what it comes with as well as their little um, guide and their little quick start guide. So that is the um, device for NutriCore. You will need to have some kind of a container to use. Um, so I have been just using this like quart size container and it just fits in there. Um, so that's something you will need to either purchase. You may have on hand, I had this on hand. And then um, it doesn't come with a spray bottle, so you will need a spray bottle. And I can link below the spray bottles that I have been using. Um, there, oh wait, there's one over here, I'll grab it. So really, honestly, like probably not the greatest to admit, but the reason I chose these was because they're like nice looking, because they're clear, they're glass, and I just kind of like the look of them. So um, these are the ones I've been using, but really any spray bottles, spray bottles should do. 
And then um, obviously for both of them, if you're planning on making your own, you're gonna want some vinegar, just regular white vinegar, this is 5% acidity, and then also some salt. And as we've said before, you need to make sure you're using a salt that does not have any additives in it. Um, and this is all that I have left. I cannot find my big box of my diamond crystal salt. It's lost in the move. Like we still have some boxes that have not been unpacked. And so I'm like down to my last little bit, you can see. <laughs> so anyways, um, you're gonna wanna find some salt that does not have any additives to it. Um, sometimes like the pickling salt, that is one that a lot of people will use. Some kosher salts do, some don't. So keep that in mind. So that breaks down NutriClor. Size, the Force of Nature is 12 ounces and the Nature Chlor size, it varies. So there's three different sizes. You can get the regular Nature Chlor, which is one quart or 32 ounces, or you can get the um, Nature Chlor Plus, which is one quart to one gallon, um, which is 32 to 128 ounces, or you can get the Nature Chlor Max, which is one gallon to five gallons, and that's 128 to 640 ounces. So I converted those to ounces just so that you could kind of see a better comparison um, with the 12 ounces with the Force of Nature, and then the smallest size is 32 ounces with the Nature Chlor. For time, um, time I think for Force of Nature can vary. So I timed my last batch of Force of Nature to see how long it took, and it took nine minutes to complete the full cycle. So I have heard some people say around seven minutes, I've heard eight minutes. So I think in general, it's about, you know, seven to nine minutes maybe. Um, for me, it took nine. For Nature Chlor, we know we set a timer for 15 minutes. So it is 15 minutes, it's a little bit longer, um, but it does produce a larger amount. The next thing is cost. So the force of nature there's different starter packs um you can start with the smallest um starter pack which is 70 dollars, and it goes up to 99 dollars. um you can also usually find um like a a code that will give you a percent off as well so keep that in mind for force of nature for nature chlor the smallest one is 130 dollars for the Nature Core Plus, it is $190, and the Nature Core Max is $238. Next, we'll talk about the warranty. For both devices, it comes with a one-year warranty. The return policy is the same as well, so 30-day return policy for both Force of Nature and Nature Core. Now, keep in mind for Force of Nature, if you are planning on measuring your own salt and vinegar, you are probably going to want to invest in some test strips, um, both the pH and chlorine test strips, you'll buy salt, you'll buy vinegar, and you also may want to get like a scale, a small scale, um, to measure the salt and the vinegar. Now for the Nature Chlor, the additional things you'll need is the salt, the vinegar, and then some kind of a container to hold the liquid in while you're using the device. Okay, so for my opinion, Honestly, both devices are gonna get you the finished product that you want, which is hypochlorous acid. I've been loving cleaning with it. I love being able to hand it to my eight and three-year-old and say, clean the table, clean the bathroom, and I don't worry about the chemicals that are on their hands. Um, I've been using it, uh, I keep like, oh, my purse is right here. I keep like a little one in my purse for like cleaning cart handles or even just spraying hands like while we're in the grocery store. Um, so I love it. I love using it. I love cleaning with it, but I do have a little bit of a favorite and I'll tell you the reason why. So I have been using nature chlor more than I have force of nature. And the reason why is two, two reasons. One, um, is because it's just really convenient to use that little like half teaspoon to measure the salt and measure the vinegar really quick, mix it up and go. It's kind of a little bit of a pain to get the scale out and to slowly add the salt and slowly add the vinegar, mix it all together in the little cup, add it to the thing. So it's not like the end of the world to use the force of nature in that way. And I was using it that way for quite a while and it was perfectly fine. And it was a lot cheaper than buying the capsules. So like not bad, right? But it is really, really nice to be able to just throw it in the jar 
and mix it up and go. So I like that about Nature Chlor. And the other thing that I like about Nature Chlor is that it's a bigger size. That um, the 32 ounce, um, like the one quart, which is like their smallest device, right? Like the regular Nature Chlor um, is perfect for our family at this time in our lives. So like cleaning the house, sanitizing, um, we don't have any pets and we don't have like a huge home. So for us, that size is perfect. Um, I think it's so cool that they offer the bigger sizes for people that are using it for businesses or I don't know, maybe they just have bigger things to clean. So it's always fun learning about the new things that people are using it um, for. So anyways, that's it. That's the reason why I like Nature Chlor better. Basically it's easier for me to measure the ingredients and it's a bigger size. I really don't mind waiting the 15 minutes and setting a little timer. Um, it's really not a big deal. So for me, I've, I just reached towards Nature Chlor a little bit more. All right. Well, that is it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you found it a little helpful comparing the two side by side, both great devices. There's also another, more and more devices are starting to pop up as well. And so you'll see those, um, on like Amazon. Sometimes you'll see them. There's also one, um, called the eco one by eco Lux tech, I believe is the company. And that's a larger size as well. And you don't buy capsules. You just measure the salt and vinegar. So there's that brand as well. It's a little bit pricier, um, but I don't know. I've been pretty happy with the nature Chlor, and I don't find a need to purchase that one. So anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.